Can I ask you, we've had a lot of debate on this programme in the last week about nuclear weapons, because obviously you have a very, again, yeah. inconsistent policy with your leader indicating he'd never use the nuclear uh, defences that we have, even though the party will apparently, in the manifesto today, sign up to renewing Trident at a cost of several hundred billion pounds. Let me ask you about this. I mean, you're a senior member of the Labour Party. If you do win, and you said yesterday that you believe you're going to win the election, so in four weeks' time, you will be in power and Jeremy Corbyn will be Prime Minister. Would you be prepared, in any circumstance, to use nuclear weapons to defend this country? No. You know what party policy is. The party policy is that we will renew Trident, full stop. I'm opposed to that, but I accept the democratic will of our party, and I'll accept the democratic will of the party with regard that to nuclear weapons. That wasn't the question. I don't believe... I don't, no, well, I'm coming to the answer. I don't believe that their use is either right or, to be frank, in any way could be seen to be effective, because innocent people will die. What we would be doing is making sure that we negotiate the reduction in nuclear weapons across the world, de-escalate any forms of tension so it never arrives at that. And I don't think, I don't think we'll ever arrive at that situation. But let's, let's be absolutely clear, the Labour Party policy is to renew Trident. Right, but here we have a situation quite extraordinary and unprecedented where the leader and his number two of a party who may be in the government in four weeks' time do not believe in the nuclear deterrent and yet are prepared to go along with a manifesto proposal to the British people that would uh, uh, make us spend several hundred billion pounds. So here you are, launching this big thing about saving money and clobbering the rich and Piers, so on. Piers, but you're prepared, called, you're prepared Piers, to commit tax... Well, wait a minute. You're prepared <laughs> to commit taxpayers' money to hundreds of billions of pounds and yet you and Jeremy Corbyn, who run the party and will be effectively running the country if you win, Look, are, not, are not prepared to ever use it, don't believe in it, and think it's a complete waste of money. Well, look, it's a, it's a concept... It's, look, it's a relatively modern Greek concept called democracy, in which the Labour Party members come together and decide the policies of our party, and we abide by them as a result of that. I accept the democratic will of our members, which has made it clear that we were a new tribe. Full stop. That's the democracy no, that we it. live in within the I Labour Party. But all the woolly yeah, woolly words Mr. Other Madonna, parties, but not us. With respect, all the woolly words about mm. democracy are fine. I'm talking about the fact that two most powerful people in the country in four weeks' time will not be prepared to use nuclear mm. weapons, even though you are prepared to make the British taxpayer what? pay hundreds of billions of pounds to have a nuclear defence. Do you not understand that the optics of this look absolutely ridiculous to the British public? Not at all. Not at all. What I'm saying is, is that what we want is a policy that leads towards peace where you do not need to use nuclear weapons or eventually even have them. And that's exactly the position of the Labour Party where we can take a democratic decision within our party to renew Trident and we abide by that decision. There will always be a range of views, but we abide by the democratic wishes of our party, full stop. Right, but having spent the hundreds of billions on Trident, you'd never use it. I don't believe we'll ever get to that situation. I don't believe it would be effective or right. But nevertheless, we've taken a conscious decision as a party, democratically arrived at, that we re renew Trident, and we are doing it.